is a dance pad. Hi, I'm Daisy, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own dance pad. It's a switch! On, off, on, off. When the switch is closed, electrical current flows through, and when the switch is open, the current stops flowing. These are the materials you're gonna need. Cardboard, some wires, batteries, light bulb socket, a paper towel tube, a light bulb, duct tape, some tools, and aluminum foil. The cardboard is a platform and it's also a spring. You see, it bounces right back. I'm gonna place the aluminum foil on my pad so that it can make one of the contacts. The foil conducts electricity. So that's why I'm using it to make the contacts for my switch. Ooh. This is a really cool shiny material to help reflect the light. This is a paper towel tube covered in aluminum foil for your second contact. Now I'm gonna attach the wire and I do this by going back to my duct tape, my zebra duct tape. Duct tape is not your ordinary silver duct tape anymore. Now it has prints, like zebra prints. Now we're gonna put the battery, the light bulb socket, and another piece of wire on our platform. You can find the wire, socket, the bulb, and the batteries at an electronics store. <gasps> Yay, it works. Corrugated cardboard does not look cool, so let's add a little bit of our flavor into it. And when I go to the craft store, I find pressure sensitive materials, also known as sticky backs. Now this surface might be too slippery for when I put my foot on it. So I found sticky back foam that has a little bit more friction to it. Oh, I'm gonna cut into a foot shape. I'm ready to dance. 